All right, guys, we back. We rolling. Pretty Truth Podcast. What I do? would say this is the second week, but this is really more like the first week. So, <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys watch it right now on MMA Island, you guys saw our MMA talk last week, but you didn't get to see all of our other stuff because of this. I'm going to put up the text that we got. They took us off. So to get right to what we're going to get to so this doesn't happen again we are going to refer to that thing that they're going to be injecting people with Ooh-wop. we're going to refer to that <laughs> as the oop it starts with the v in case you guys are still not clear the thing that starts with the v we're going to refer to that as the oop on this podcast okay Ooh-wop. and then later down the road when we're talking about the the man in charge of the, the country. We're just referring I'm to the him. best. I'm just the best at everything. <laughs> We're refer to him as DT. As DT, yep. right? So this yep. video doesn't get taken off. Yeah. Anyways. Hey, hey, I have a question. Wait, wait, before we really started. What happened to freedom of speech, man? What's that, bro? Doesn't that, <laughs> hey, doesn't that only exist in um, the old uh, USA? Because we don't live there anymore. We live in uh, CH. INA. That's where kind of where we live now. Yeah. Dang. Hey, everybody, shout out to uh, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. But go look up um uh 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 you remember the movie Terminator? The first one? But yeah, remember they had the, the, the program called Skynet? Yes. What do you think is the name of the China's program that they use to overwatch everybody in in in, in Aina? <laughs> That's what it is, right? Same name? It's, it's called Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, they're telling, they're showing it, they're telling us. Here's <laughs> coffee to candle. <laughs> stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Hey, literally. It's like, they, it's, they like, tell it's, us it's everything. a mockery. It's a mockery, bro. It's literally like, at this point, it's a mockery. And like, if, if, if you're a person, because like, like in my family, right? They should be blessed to have people like myself, my cousin, you know what I mean? It's the friends that I surround myself with in the circle. Because what that does is, is that uplifts everybody because everybody wants to partake in the truth. But mm-hmm. in my family, they're so messed up mentally that they rather support the crackheads. Dude, that's crazy, bro. It's truly sad, man. Our people have really been destroyed. It's 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 truly sad. But it's 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 the process, and it's the process of dumbing down. Man. Some people are just dumb. Hey, let's get right. Let's get let's get right in. We'll come back to this because I know we okay. have like listeners out here on the MMA island. Oh, there's something I want I want to bring up right now. <laughs> Jake Paul calling out Conor McGregor. <laughs> Hey, hey, he called his wife a four, bro. Did you, hey, like, run the video. Just run the video right here. Run it. What the fuck is up, you Irish cunt? Good morning, Conor McGregor. I know you're probably beating up old dudes in a bar right now, or maybe you're jacking off because you're sick of fucking your wife. I mean, she's a four, Conor. You could do a lot better, but happy Monday. Hey, 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 he called the man's wife a four, bro. Come on, you can't you can't disrespect a man's wife. You can't go there, bro. You can't go there. You can't. That's out of pocket. And that's that's looking thirsty, man. You know what I mean? So my thing is, what are these guys that are talking this mess gonna come over to the MMA world? Bro, you wanna know what really gets me? I when I see this, I'm the, I've mentioned it on an older podcast talking about people who like to call MMA fighters, you know, P U S S I E S calling them yeah. that B I T C H. Um, yeah. you guys, did you guys know that you can go into any MMA gym, sign a waiver, say, I want to spar today and get that ass whipped. Yep. There's no, ex- there's really no excuse. There's, <laughs> there's really not. No. So if you're going to call people that, go into an MMA gym and that big time fighter who you're saying that to, what they're probably going to do is be like, if you can beat that guy right there who's been fighting amateur for like three years, he might be turning pro soon. If you could beat him, we'll talk. Yeah. I bet you, I bet, bet you won't beat him. Thanks. Yeah. 
Yep. Am yep. I right or am I wrong, bro? You're hundred percent right. Bro, it's just like it's so easy to talk shit, dude. Keyboard warriors, man. And then you see him. I've literally seen people that I know that have been talking mess. And they just they go the other way. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, but we're just in that day and age, bro. Like literally, yeah. what's up is down, what's down is up. You know what I mean? Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's 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 that saying that the the strong rule the weak, but the wise rule the strong. You know what I mean? So it's one of today, a lot of people are just not wise. <laughs> I I I, I want to see one of these guys. Bro, it's crazy. I, I like bro. See, I like seeing them. I like seeing them because I like seeing them just this guy remember me? <laughs> I like that. It's bro, they, they might get lucky and say it to a fighter who's just going to, like, say something to him to, like, scare yeah. him. Yeah. But what are you going to do when you run into somebody who's about that, like Nate and, like, Nick, somebody with that mentality? Maybe it's a fighter that you don't think that's like that because they're, maybe they're nice. Yeah. When it comes to, like, media, doing interviews, UFC, Bellator they might be in. What if they're about that life? I'm not just talking Man. just about, like, fighters, like, people in general. What if they're about that? What are you going to do then? They go run for the hills, bro. They go run. Crazy, bro. I see it, run. dude. I see a lot of it. Like, like on Facebook is the worst. I see people talking trash because you know how you you could see other people talking to other people. It'll show you. Yeah. And I literally see people talking smack to some dude, and I know they <laughs> don't live that far from them, bro. And I'm like, dude, you're crazy. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, uh, uh. A uh, 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 zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> and you see these guys? I'm getting that mofo. <laughs> That's how yeah. it be. Hey, what you what you think about um, Yo Romero getting signed yeah. by Bellator, bro? Bro, he's gonna he's gonna run through that whole the whole division. So him and Anthony uh, Johnson, that's going to be a fantastic matchup. You know, I, I, I don't I, – I say so you don't like – well, yours is kind of old. So you got to kind of get everything out of those now. But he's a very – he's an athletic specimen, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, specimen. But, yeah. Yeah, so he, he got, like I say, two more years of performing at a high level. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't think you give him – you don't give them to each other at the beginning. I Damn, think you bro. let one of them – you let one of them like, either fight for the title eliminator – or one fight for the title, and the other guy is the, you know, the first guy. That would just be your biggest draw, you know, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I just think genetically he's he's just born with it. You can just tell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he's not – is he 42? Yeah, something like that, yeah. He's not your typical 42-year-old, bro. No, he's, he, he he's got not. he got to about 44. I think he got about 44 at 45. You know, yeah, it's going to be bad. This is a lot of wear and tear he's had on his body. And then when it goes, it's going to go. It's like, it's like, because you know, at this point, it's like hanging on by a few threads. And yeah. like every like month is like another thread goes, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until one day it's going to, you know, I, I do wish the best thing. He's a great fighter. He's, he obviously has a great personality. Uh, so, but age is just, it's undefeated. Yeah. I say get that money for the next two years. Get that money. Yeah, yeah, right? bro. Yeah, but it, it, like he has – Nimkov is good, bro. Nimkov is really good, bro. And you still have Bader. Bader's going to uh, – you know, he's a, Bader's not a heavyweight. Bader's going to be a 205er, like, at the end of the day, you know, because he's – once once the heavyweight quality goes up in Bellator – I don't think Vader <clears throat> would be able to compete like that, you know, with the whole one one punch knockout potential. Not, he, and he has that, yeah. but he's not going to fight guys like Vader. He's going to fight guys that are younger, more active, going to move around a little bit more. They're going to offer him a lot more uh, avenues of defeat for him. And so I think that him just being a natural 205 pounder, <clears throat> he's going to go down and it's going to make that 205 pound division crazy. Yeah, I mean,
It's going to be exciting to see. I saw at first all these people were passing on him. They're like, I don't want to sign yeah. that guy. Yeah. But I, I think people at Bellator were probably kind of sat in a room and they were like, let's hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. I mean, because even if he gives, you know, Anthony Anthony a great fight or Nimkov a, a great fight, because we know in championship fights he's come up short. But it's Bellator, so, you know, one step below. But still, you know, he came up short so many times that if he, even if he goes and wins your championship, it kind of diminishes your championship a little bit. Let's be honest. Just a little bit. Great fighter, though. I'm not taking anything away from him. But the reality is just the reality. Yeah, let's talk about another reality, bro. Last What's weekend, up? man, Ferguson, dude. Oh, man. You were right. Hey, he was right. He's like... <laughs> I've been wrong several times, man. The first time yeah, I tell you, yeah. I just had a strong feeling about that. That was just, that was a rough one, bro, against Gaethje. Yeah, he he kind of seemed a little bit like like he needed to take like six, seven, eight months off. You know what I mean? Just to recoup. You know what I mean? Because not do anything, up. bro. Yeah, change no sparring, up. nothing. Yeah, change up everything. Mm-hmm. It seemed like he did. He kind of did the changing part. Yeah, right. it just seemed like he was a step behind Oliveira the whole time. The whole time, right? The Oliveira, I mean, we can't take anything away from him. the guy's phenomenal, bro. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> like he, when I saw that night, he yeah. would give Khabib a hard time, a very hard time, very hard time. That might be the sleeper. That should be the guy if he if if. If, imagine Khabib says this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take a year and a half off, mm-hmm. which he has. You know, he's he's dominant of a wrestler enough to come back and you know be you know, especially in Dagestan, how they're active. Yeah. But you 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 take a year off and you see how the division lines up, how it really starts lining up. And if if you have to give, if there's no championship belt on the line, you have to give. Um, do Bronx the opportunity to fight the winner of Connor Poirier for either the championship or the final eliminator to fight Khabib. Who do you think is going to win between McGregor and Poirier? That's a great fight. That is a great fight. You have, if, if Dustin is not pretentious like he was last time, he mm-hmm. seemed kind of like nervous a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I do give it to Dustin, but if he comes in there with any type of, if he lets Connor put any type of shadow over him at all, mm-hmm. then it's not going to be good for him again. But if he could defeat those demons, then he'll win. What do you think? Uh, two things. One, of uh, Poirier gets hit, right? Yeah. A lot right? sometimes, yeah. McGregor, whenever he lands a left hand on anybody that's not named Khabib, it wrecks him. <laughs> yeah. So put those two together. I think it's going to be the same result as last time, but it's going to take yeah. longer. It's going to take longer. And uh, one thing I have seen with Dustin lately is he could fight at an incredible pace. Oh, yeah, for sure. That, and that's something that, you know, it, it, the yeah. opportunity to fight – well, Khabib just showed his pace in something else. But, yeah. like, like, but he showed that with a guy who gave you, I thought his pace would break him down. Mm-hmm. I thought that that would show Khabib's kind of weak spots. That shit didn't do show shit. Did nothing. <laughs> Did nothing. Same thing. So, but Connor, he seemed to, he broke. Like, they all broke. Yeah, they did. So, can, can, can Dustin emulate that pace at all? I see Striking wise, I see mm-hmm. what do you? I think? mean, who knows? I could be wrong, man. I mean, Dustin could take it, but that's just those those two factors that I just that I said are true. Yeah, we've seen it. it. It's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look at he landed a lot on Nate. I mean, Nate's chin is just ridiculous. Anyone else? Yeah. they're done. Nate is bigger too. Naturally bigger, man. Yeah. I don't know. I saw Nate tweet something too at 
in response to Jake Paul. Did you see that? <laughs> he's like, you man, you just shot to get your ass whooped. Something like that. It was hilarious. Yeah, but, but he would. Like he he would. That like, it's like everything now is all about distractions and clout. Popularity. That's it. Popularity contest, That's it. bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, from that video. Mm-hmm. From Connor, he probably got another million, another million uh, subscribers. Did you see him? What he was like? Those Dwayne Wade glasses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he lost his mind. He be- he beat up a black dude. It's over with. He sold he out, didn't mind. he? He sold out, didn't he? Of course. I, man, go look. I don't know. I, I should took a picture of it. I'm, I'm gonna do it after here. And okay. if you can do it, take a picture. Uh-huh. Go to uh, what's his name again? Jake Paul. Jake Paul, go to his people he's following. One of the people that he's following, he's only following like five people. One of them is the Illuminati. No! Go check right quick. In fact, yeah, just put it on the screen. Whatever. I'll, I'll put yeah. it on the screen, but I'll record myself searching and I'll put it on the Okay, okay, Man. cool. Yeah. Hopefully it's still up. If it is, then be amazed. Because right now, like if you go watch things like the uh, the MTV, I'm not the MTV. You saw the one that the post was the the music awards show where About they the just goat. had they just had they, they're out with it now. We can't say too much, but they're just go look up goat ritual, mm-hmm. right? Go look it up. They're, they're they're literally doing the worship in front of you. I'll put the little image right there. Boom. Yeah, man. They're literally doing it in front of us now. Like now, it's the, it's the, it's time for the curtain to be drawn back. That's all it is. When they say, when, when, when that video of um, the guy from uh, Israel said that you know we've been talking to extraterrestrials, but they they're ready now, and that's why the uncovering of what people, what idols people have been worshiping. What you know, a uh, 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 false and fallen angels people have been worshiping. Those things are about to come out in plain sight. People don't even. Some people don't even know that's what they're worshiping. Yeah, that's the sad part, bro. So it's kind of like when you when you worship the um the the white Jesus. I could say the white Jesus. Yeah, I could say that. I've heard people say that. Right? If you worship the white Jesus, mm-hmm. go look up Kos Q O S. It's literally a copy of Yahweh that was created by the Edomites. Go look it up. This is this is not conspiracy theory. It's a fact. Q O S D. Type it in. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That's that why is- I love doing the podcast with you, bro. People that are, talk- <laughs> that are saying, "Hey, Justin's crazy. He's a nut job." I've seen a couple stupid comments. He says, guys, he says stuff, and then he backs it up for you to go look it up yourself. It's not that hard. Go look, go look it up yourself. I mean, I, 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 I'm, at, I'm at this point now where literally I've had numerous people. I've had atheists turn to believers, and I've had people who claim to be believers turn to atheists because they realize what the truth really is. And they feel like they're not included, so they say, man, whatever it is. And they yeah. turn over to, to literally a reprobate mind. I've, I've seen it, bro. People are making choices right now, bro. Bam! Speaking of. Bam! Speaking of, December 21st. Bam. December 21st, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the craziest part was uh-huh. December 14th, seven days before, uh-huh. was an eclipse. That's a fact. The number seven, there it is. Go Come ahead. on, man. It's like it's <laughs> like so simple, man. It's so simple. We have to pay attention to the stars, the moon, and the sun. That's where he said he'll lay all his messages. Period. And did we ever go through this? The keepers of the time? Uh, I'm not sure, man. Maybe so, we have. We talked about it a lot. Yeah, so how do you know what tribe certain people come from? How? Remember, uh, and it's kind of like you have to know that by what the Bible says because they've erased everything. 
This is a fact, mm -hmm. right? That's why my people call themselves a color in a crayon box. Mm -hmm. Like that's embarrassing. Like we should be embarrassed to be stripped of our I, national, I, I, our, our natural nationality mm -hmm. and be called a color now. That's embarrassing, man. All people that look like me should be embarrassed if you call yourself that color. A color. Well, this is the color that they say you are. <laughs> you guys can see half the screen right now, right? Yeah, crazy. So this is the color. Now look at his color. Man. Does that match? <laughs> it, it doesn't match. People don't understand the complexities of what it means to be called black. Black means dead. There's a reason why our people don't get things like reparations because we are dead by definition. If you look up the, in the dictionary, it'll tell you what the real definition of the word black is. At the same time, you can look up the word white. But it's not, oh. if you look, what is it, W-Y-T-E or W-H-Y-T? Yeah, w, yeah they, they, they changed the spelling. They changed and it. And like, black was B-L-A-Q. Okay. But if you look at the definition, it'll, it'll tell you, and it's all negative things for the word black, right? It's all negative yep. stuff, right? Yep. So for the listeners, let me ask you a question. So if you're constantly saying stuff, I am this, whatever word that is, oh. what, what, what happens? We've, we've seen this. I'm not starting to talk like a crazy person. But if you're constantly talking about something, like we've seen like rappers that are constantly talking about death, what happened? Death came for them, right? There you go. So if people of that color are saying um, they're this color, I am this, I am. What happens if it's all a negative definition? What happens? It's a curse. And I'm not even one of those people. Yeah, you one of us though. I'm going to prove it, though. So what tribe or what people does the whole world follow their doomsday clock? We're, they're the reason why we have a sundown. Mayans. Who are those people? The Mayans and the Aztecs. Uh, yeah. So are they not the keepers of time worldwide? They're the keepers of time. We still go by their, 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 their times, like literally. The system. The system. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, I want you to pull this up. I got to go because we're we, we going to uh, 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 put this in the video. Okay. Go to First Chronicles 12 and 32. All right, here we go. All right, ready? Yeah. And of the children of Issachar, which Issachar. Were, Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know that Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. That's it. All the brethren. When it came to times, all the other 11 tribes followed what they said to do during those times. Where did those people go? Because obviously they were making clocks. They were yeah. telling us what's about to happen this day, that day. What yeah. people do that today? Everybody follows Aztecs what they did. And the Mayans, man. Everybody follows what they did. We know who these people are. It's just they won't admit it yet. That's all it is. They won't admit it yet. But that that understanding is about to come out because it's obvious. Well, here's also another thing, too. How is it that everybody knows of that, you know, the calendar, the Mayan yeah. calendar, all that stuff, right? They supposedly they found that because I mean we're, we're talking about it, right? But yeah. how is it that all the other questions and all the other, the proof of them? How is it that it's disappeared? Did it disappear? Or are they not showing us? They're hiding it. But 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 if, if if a lot of people remember, I say this all the time: the Bible has never been proved wrong. Right. We're proving things right according to what's going on according to the Bible. They conquered the world using the Bible. The only way you're going to figure out the world again is by the Bible. It's a history book. It's a prophecy book. History literally 
right? Prophecy literally became history in a lot of those situations. You just have to know how to read it. You have to decipher the Bible using the Bible. No private interpretations. The Bible said the people who were the keepers of the time to know what everybody else should do is the tribe of Issachar, who's known for the times. These are simple A, 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 B questions. I just think a lot of people just look at it and be like, no, that stuff's fake. And then I can't see any of that to be true because people want to believe stuff that they could see in front of their face physically, right? Which is hey, sad, bro. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And so, I, and so I, a lot of times I'll see like people talking about like stuff of the Bible, like it, whether it be on Facebook or something, it'll get like maybe like five likes. It's yeah. like people are like, they're scared to like get into the discussion or think that they believe in that because they're afraid of what other people are going to think of them. That's it. And so remember, stupid, remember, dude. The Bible says you'll be hated. I know. If you speak truth, you'll obviously be hated because you have two people. People who hate the truth mm -hmm. are people who hate being told the truth because they don't want to change. And the other side just ain't going to change anyway because they just hate the truth. Right? And a lot of our people, unless you look like a white person, they're not going to listen to you. No. It takes that for them to believe whether something is true or false. And that is the final step that we all must conquer in order to get to the final step. Let's talk about one of the steps. Let's talk about uh -oh. the UAP. Ooh, the UAP. The UAP. They think they're slick. Somebody. <laughs> so I, I, I was, I commented on somebody's, on their post or whatever on Facebook, and um, they were talking about it. It's so voluntary, ready to do it. And I said oh. something. So somebody asked me, Mike, are you gonna do it? And I was like, No, I'm not. Um, but let me ask you a question. Do you really think Obama, Clinton? and Bush are really going to take that in front of you? Do you really think that what they're going to be putting in themselves is the actual OOP? And they're like, no one guy goes, one guy goes, yeah, why wouldn't they? And I go, well, we can all agree that both, all three of those guys are very intelligent guys, right? You can yeah. agree with that, right? Yes. So, and very intelligent guys, they're going to look and be like, no other OOP has been made in less than a year. Never. Ever. In yep. the history of time, yep. so these smart guys are going to go, it's probably not the smartest thing <laughs> to put this in my body. Oh, and also, there's also side effects that you can actually look up right now from people <laughs> who did those case studies that took the OOP that are having all these side effects. So those three smart guys are probably not going to take it in front of you guys. Yep. The real thing. It's not going to be like a vitamin B shot. It, yeah. Hey, the worst part is, is why would you even trust Obama? Remember what Obama did in uh, uh, Michigan, in Flint, Michigan, where their, their water is literally being poisoned and he came to mock them. We're going to put the video up. I really didn't need a glass of water. This is not a stunt. President Obama took a sip of Flint's filtered now, tap water, assuring the people the there that, that he cares. He mocked them. And everybody in the audience would say, you better not drink that water. But he drank it. And you know, you think it was really the Flint water, bro? No, dude. It's the same thing. And people got to stop falling for it. Literally. But people won't. Some other girl, this was actually last night. She put up something regarding that, too. And I, I left a comment on somebody else's comment on her thread. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to be taking that. A whole bunch of people are. So she started commenting, why won't you take it? And this is also another fact too. I'm going to tell you guys. So my girlfriend works in pharmaceutical. And what she does, she works from home on the phone. And she helps organize the case studies for Ooh. new OOPs that are coming yeah. in. Not only that, but also like medications for other stuff. She helps organize them. 
and she, they, she keeps track so she knows all the data of what's happening. So when all the stuff is happening, I straight ask my girlfriend, who works in this? Who knows what's in these things? Because she sees the terminology that you and I can't see. Like if you, even if you Google it, like there's certain words and stuff, you, even if you try to figure out what it means, that's the stuff that's in each OOP and everything. She knows what it is. Yeah, bro. So crazy. I asked her, I go, so you know what it is. I'm not going to ask you. I mean, you, there's stuff that you see that obviously you can't tell anybody else, but I'm just curious, yes or no. Are you going to take it? She goes, what does that tell you? I'm not lying. <laughs> hey, I, I, I know it has. <laughs> it got that in it. It, it. it got a lot of stuff in it that, uh, again, if you're a person, uh, it, it, it's, it, it's nothing but a whole bunch of witches sitting there like, ah, mixing up a pot. That's it. Hey, put a little bit of that in there, a little bit of that in there. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a lie. Put it in there. You know what I mean? And boil it, and then you go purify it, and this comes out clear. These people, like the Tuskegee experiments, like all, and, and look up all the videos who's taking the Uwap first. It's all who? Black people, quote yeah. unquote, black people. Watch the videos. Bro, it's crazy, dude. Why are people just willing to take that? Because they want to they wanna go back to a life of normalcy, right? That's it. But it's, it's never going to be normal again. That is ridiculous. But it's all a part of the plan. You got to go back Remember to what you were saying, the steps. The, 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 it's, that's all it is. It's called ordo ab chao. That is literally the same for the Freemasons. Order out of chaos. Chaos. That's what you're seeing. And then you have people, and, and what if Peter Goebbels, whatever his name is, that's the guy from um, Germany. He was the propaganda guy. He said, it's easier to, to, to fool somebody than to, to, to prove to them that they've been fooled. So there's people like myself and you who are sitting back, like watching every step, step to step, like, oh my God, do you see this? And then you talk to a, a person with a, that's not that the most high, because this is spiritual now. Mm -hmm. People have to realize this is have be, this has become spiritual. Either you have an ear to hear and eyes to see, or you don't. Because I literally have talked to people that be like, man, why you worry about that, man? If the world ended the gym, man. That's it. I'm gonna go to church on Sunday, but what about when it says that? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. As it, like, what about all these sayings that you've been learning as a kid that are saying that you have to get right before the Messiah comes back or he going to chop off your stuff? That's literally what it says. So if you're a Christian, take heed and listen. If you don't, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you, but I actually don't. You're a reprobate. It's getting to those times. Yeah, I'm not perfect, bro. There's stuff that I do I'm not supposed to. I know I got to get right. I don't have to talk to other people and try to act like gotta I'm all right. right now because this week is the Feast of Dedication. Yeah. Look it up. Everybody look it up. So Hanukkah, right? The real name of Hanukkah is called the Feast of Dedication or the Feast of the Maccabees. Man. It's in the book of Maccabees. Everybody go read this because this week, and it, it literally started... On, on literally the same day as the eclipse. Bro. So that night, what do you think is going to happen? It, it, ha it happens during the day. I've, I've already broken it down. Mm -hmm. So there's certain things that I haven't really talked about on here because, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to, I don't want to scare people. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's a reason why iron was created to put us in slavery. Iron is a spiritual captor. That's why if you go to prisons, there's irons on the bars. It now, diminishes energy, your spirit, right? It diminishes your spirit. It drains your spirit. Yeah. That's literally a spirit. You can look this stuff up, man. It's not no game. 
all you little, all you spiritual and spiritual, and you don't believe me, when you go look this stuff up, this stuff was created for a reason. Now, there's going to be cosmic rays that are released. Even pagans talking about this. They know something is about to happen. They just don't know what. I know what. This week, go follow me at Big Pretty MMA, and I'll be letting you know day by day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but, it's, but literally, there's a wind down every day. Yeah. And it says that he was short in the days. The days are becoming shorter. He says, right, does, does your life feel like it's going fast? For some yeah, I've been saying that to my girl. Like, how is that possible <laughs> when we've been doing more of nothing by sitting at home? Usually that's when your days oh, are longer. Yeah, he, he's going to close up all the churches. He's going to start bringing down all the idols. That's what's going on right now in front of our faces. There's floods happening in places. They're not talking about this stuff. No. You, you got Russia down there in Venezuela. You got China buying up everything. Like, like literally, God and Magog is happening. Mm -hmm. And people just are not paying attention. No. They rather care about twerking, their TikToks. <laughs> right? Yeah. They're, these people who are not focusing on the times are literally the dangers of humanity. These people that run this world, they're going by Georgia guy stones. Pop Literally, Bill Gates is a known person who believes in eugenics and population control. He's come out and said it. There's too many people on Earth. Why are those Georgia guy stones there, bro? You guys tell me that. Come on, man. Why are those there, guys? For no reason? Yeah. What, what about the monoliths? Those things that are popping up? Come on, man. The Georgia guy stones, they're there. Nobody can deny that. Why don't they ever Seriously. take them down, bro? If it says that stuff on him, you tell me that. Come on, dude. We, we can't. If that was a, like a, a weird thing or they don't want people to know about that, they'd be like, we, we can't be having that. We're going to take that down. We're going to destroy it. That's never been a topic of discussion. Never. Come on. Yep. Yep. Places are getting closed down. Churches are not opening. This is all happening for a reason. If people are not awake to the fact that there's nothing accidental, nothing. These people don't operate in the, in the accidental realm. What? No, nah, dude. Man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, you want you want to hear some positive though? Yeah, Give me a favor. Uh, yeah. uh, let's read one one verse. Go okay. to that uh, the holy highway one. I want to break this down because I'm, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna make a video out of this. To put the holy highway. That was the one I sent you. Isaiah thirty five eight. Yeah, read that right quick. All right, Isaiah thirty five eight. And an highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean uh -huh. shall not pass over it, but uh -huh. it shall be for those, the wayfaring men, uh -huh. no fools shall not err therein. Yeah. This gonna, when everything comes to pass, people are like, man, how am I going to get to here? Remember, everything comes from the Bible. They just bastardize it. That's what all these super fast, you know, uh, 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 trains and stuff that are being built in a Autobahn, all the word highway, it's in the Bible. Yeah. Okay? It's literally going to be a holy highway that goes from wherever you are to the holy ground. The only people who will be able to go on it are people who are deemed clean. Being clean means you follow the laws, statutes, and commandments of God. Probably not going to be a lot of people on that. Boom. Oh, people, no, no, this, there's going to, at the end of the days, he's going to give everybody a new heart, a new everything. But even then, there's only some people who are deemed clean. Yeah. This is a nationality thing. You're Issachar, you're good. You get your life right, 
You know what I mean? You do what you're supposed to do. The Most High will bless you. Hey, where's that at? The new heart. Hold Did on. Did you send it to me? No, I didn't send it to you. But this is a this is a great one that I think people should know. You know, I got so many notes. Look, I, this is my thing. <laughs> I just carry around. You know what I mean? And my my uh, let's see. Oh no! Your little Boom. composite book. Yeah, this is just one of them. You know, I got a, another book next to me too. Well, I'll show you guys that. Jesus die. I got all kinds of stuff. Okay, go to Ezekiel thirty six. Okay. Tw- twenty four to read to twenty six. All right, pulling it up. Right now, where's it at? I'm trying to find the King James Version. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, so you said 36, 24 to 36? 24 to 30, 26, sorry. Okay, okay. Ready? Yep. For I will take you from among the heathen. Take you from among them. Remember, holy means what? Set apart. Mm-hmm. You can't be like everybody else and say, I'm holy. No. Go ahead. And gather you out of all countries. Yep. Remember, we were all spread to the four corners around the world. That was our punishment. He's going to gather us back. That holy highway is, is, is the vehicle. Go ahead. And we'll bring you into your own land. But who, who's the only people from across the world who don't have their own land? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Come on, keep going, keep going. Remember 25? Yep. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you. Yes. And, we dirty. And, and ye shall be clean. Uh-huh. From all your filthiness. Uh-huh. And from all your idols. Idols. Uh-huh. Will I cleanse you. Will I cleanse you. There you go. So who's the people who were forced into other quote unquote religions. Yo people, my people, you know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of people forced. He's gonna cleanse us from worshiping a cross, worshiping a, a cobblestone, worshiping pictures, all that kind of stuff. No. He's gonna he's you're gonna become the temple. Go ahead. A new heart also will I give you. A new heart means a, a mind. A spirit, everything. Go ahead. And a new spirit will I put uh-huh. within you? Yes. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh. Yep. And I will give you an heart of flesh. Boom. Boom. So we know in this last days, it's still going to be flesh. We're just going to be immortal. That's all it is. We everlasting life. That's the next thing, but he has to give you a new one. This stony one we got inside of us, it has an expiration date. Oh, yeah. Period. The one he's going to give us does not. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why past the pork chop don't go over this? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 you would think that he wants to, but what happens is he can never be honest about the separation, right? Because remember, there's holy and unholy. That's natural, right? There's always a yin and a yang. But Pastor Porkchop has to teach that heaven is for everybody. That's what that whole covenant that he made with the heathen called a 501c3. Not supposed to make covenants with the heathens. That's the Bible verse. Look it up. Deep, bro. So, yeah. But, go ahead. All right, y'all. Well, I guess we'll wrap it right there, bro. Uh, see you guys uh, next week. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We out. Hey, we out. <laughs>